Alright, so two things you guys may have noticed. Ah, uh, noticed, did. What am I saying? Noticed is, uh, we're not playing CK2. Oh my god, it's incredible. Uh, we're actually playing Victoria 2. And, uh, also you might notice is the annoying ass little, like, fraps thing is gone. Yeah, that was annoying me. I know. No one was mentioning it, but I know it annoys everyone else because everyone's OCD just like me. And so, yeah. I Means I'm probably going to screw up a couple times and either record when I don't mean to and not record when I need to. But, uh, anyways, yeah. We're going to play Victoria 2. And we're going to play a game I don't think most people play. And I'm clicking on Austria, but we're not going to play as Austria. We're going to be going first in this Austria. And then. We're going to go to politics, release nations, Bohemia Modo Modovia, and now it'll take a day, but I'm going to first really quickly get medicine, so I don't waste a single day, and in one day's tick, there we go, we are now Bohemia Moldovia, is that right? Morovia. I don't know why I added the D. I think it's Moldovia in uh, CK2. And that's why. Morovia. Morovia. I don't know. It's something, one of those things. I'll just call it Bohemia because I know how to say that one. And uh, so, yeah. Um, we're going to get started. I do not see us becoming world power. I just see us having fun as a little power. I'm hoping to become a secondary power. And what would be really cool is if we could somehow get into Africa, but that's not going to happen because we're like dead smack in the center of Europe. But we are going to try our best to expand. And the very first important question we're going to ask ourselves is, who do we ally with? Prussia? Austria? Or do we go with the Russians? Or France? Or Great Britain? I mean, there's other options, but like, there's people. it's probably going to be a choice between... Uh, uh, Austria and the Prussians and not gonna lie I like the Prussians more historically I think they're cooler Bismarck's pretty freaking awesome um cause I'm pretty sure Bismarck was the one who like beat up the French and formed Germany I know he was very important to German history uh anyways so the very first thing we're gonna do is I as you notice I researched medicine the very first day because I love population. People are cool. And we actually have a surprisingly high population, which is nice. We have like 1.5 million. And uh, that's a lot for this game. And uh, yeah, I like to get that as high as physically possible because population is a huge thing in this game. They work in your factories, they work in your fields, and uh, they work in and they are employed into your army. There's no base tax or like uh, levy with like like CK2, everything is like based on what people decide to do and how many people you have to decide to do with those things. So like that's the most vague and crappiest explanation in the world. But um basically our f right up here you can see our military which are and it says like how many regiments we can support or brigades in this case. Um that's not decided based on like EU four style with like base tax and like you're getting like one fourth your base tax, that's how many you can support. Or it's not like CK2 where it's like how many buildings you have that like provide a certain amount of levy. It's all based on how many of your people say their occupation are soldiers. Which is interesting because that means that as a small nation, doesn't mean we have a small military. Because if we have a very militarized people and like everyone's in working in the military, we could have the biggest military in the goddamn world and be the smallest nation. Well, we're probably not going to be the biggest one. We're probably not going to outdo the United Kingdom in there global empire so if you don't notice I don't know if you've ever played CK2 I mean Victoria 2 I'm gonna make screw that up a lot I always feel a little limited in who I can play uh, unless you are willing to do what I just did and be a little cheesy doodly and release a nation because the world is owned by United United Kingdom I tried playing as Transvolk which is a fun campaign I, I uh, recommend to a lot of people but you get beat up by the Great British so if only do it if you want to release South Africa, in fact, I released South Africa and played it for South Africa. But I don't know. It's fun. It's cool. And uh, 
yeah. One thing that's awesome about where we are too, also, is we are an industrious freaking people. We have iron and we have um, coal in every province. This is perfect for an industry. We'll just be building all kind of steel, all kind of cement, all kind of glass, because that's all the things that are used: coal and steel and stuff like that. And we will be awesome. Anyway, so first I'm going to start off by uh, building a regiment of artillery because we do not actually have that. Look at that. Check artillery. I love that. Um, we're also going to go to our mil our economy and go like, screw the people and screw the military, but not screw the military really. <laughs> um, so what I've done here is EU4 style basically turn the maintenance down on my units. They're not going to get supplies that they need. But we'll still have them. But I'm paying the soldiers a lot so that we get more people who will join our army so we can make a bigger military. And I'm doing the same with our administration and our education. So we have more clergymen who educate the people and more bureaucrats will increase tax efficiency. Now we're going to, right here it shows the state efficiency, administrative efficiency. Uh, that's affected by tech, base efficiency and how many bureaucrats you have. So we're going to encourage bureaucrats in this nation, in these areas, so that we get a better efficiency at taxing the people. Alright, I think that's all we need to start off with right now. Increase the speed a bit. Alright, we're actually making money. Sweet. I think we're doing pretty good right now. Um, I don't know what faction we're going to go for right now. <sighs> the only difference between the royal faction and the nationalist faction is jingoism, and I like jingoism. Let's see how we got in the resources. I've gotten everything except for wine. It's a little frustrating. Alright, we're doing good here. We're increasing the literacy of our people. I just hit some buttons. Hopefully, I didn't stop recording. Let's actually check. We're good. Um. I would not want to kill my clergymen. They will gain consciousness. That's fine. I like our people to know what's going on. Because I'm not a dictator. <laughs> Alright, well, we got more regiments because more people are joining our military, so we're gonna. A uh, nice balanced army. We need a little more when it comes to, uh,. Artillery and cavalry. I'm gonna say right now, I'm not an expert in this game. I think I know it pretty well from watching other people and playing it. But, uh, I will not claim to be an expert. Glass factory. Sweet. <laughs> a comet sighted actually be it's actually a good thing a colonized comet would be a fine satellite wow it's incredible that that's actually a good thing damn quarantine it
Once we finish medicine, I'm just trying to look at what is good for us to build, considering that we have a lot of coal and a lot of iron. Let's build this. Oh shit. I always do that. Alright, we're gonna build railroads. We're gonna be very industrious people. I hate that it doesn't show empty states. And here we're gonna build a cement factory. your possible army now. Let's just go for an Alright. This is mm, King Cole. We got a shit ton of coal that we got going here. Let's go to infrastructure. Let's expand the infrastructure where we can. Are these hills or something? Like this little thing that allows that tells people to rally here and to merge here. Sweet, the population bonus, exactly what we're going for. Ooh, I wasn't checking. Yeah, that's right. We've probably been wasting a little bit of time here with these guys. We got state efficiency up to 100%. Now we're going to encourage clergymen until we get the highest possible clergymen. Which is around 2%. Well, actually, no, it's not the highest. That's just the best. Population. Sweet. You have a mighty impressive army. I wouldn't invade us. Let's actually check diplomacy. Are we in anyone's satellite? Neighbors. So we're actually not in anyone's satellite. Um, no one's sphere. That's a bad thing. Uh, because anyone trying to make us in their sphere, Francis. Let's increase relations with France.
There's diplomatic time sitting on our hands. And I blame you guys completely. Okay, so we're going a little bit in the red. Oh, we're 100% efficient administratively, so we don't need to pay for that. Get some more railroad. Now we have that. Let's encourage craftsmen. Expand our forts so that we're not invaded. Right, now we're friendly with the French. Would you form an alliance with me? No. It's a little scary. I really need an alliance. I've been kind of uh, not doing too well on this front. We do desperately need an alliance. Oh, built. Let's see, are we getting more men in our factories? Yes, we are. We're quite an industrious people. Let's see. Small arms. What like this? Let's build an ammunition factory. Also build a small arms. Oh, I'm getting a call. So this is one that's a little bit earlier. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.